for the Northern B coaching, the Marvels. As many three pointers as we can. Let's get these points up. So the Ghana team today, year seven, Frances Ravel Devlin and Lucy Egan. Year eight, Amelia Reed and Catalina Addis. Year nine, Kanye Lee, Munro Nunoa and Kelly McKinnon. Year 10, Ruby Akolo, Holly Ann Simons. And our seniors today, Sophie Frizzle and Brianna Gibson. That was Team Ghana who are playing here in the blue bibs. And we've uh, watched Team Picket play. They've just finished playing on the sport already. Uh, they just won the game. Again, they're named after Lauren Pickett and featuring in this Pickett team, Year 7, Anise Umanga and Alex Lam. Year 8, Megan Yo and Lucia Tang. Year 9, Charmaine Tapling, Savannah Sampson, Tui Nukuafe, and Year 10, Kyra Rogers, Laura Wise, our seniors in Team Picket, Michaela Monk and Kate Lemon. So the game started and we're uh, no points on the board just yet, but a lot of pep out there today. The girls are clearly aware that this is the last game of the tournament and they're all desperate to win the beautiful trophy on offer today. So we just saw a, uh, a score um, for the blue team. That's our Ghanas and the Pickets looking to level that score, bringing that ball through the court. A lovely tip by Blue Goal Defence. So Pickett throwing in from the sideline there. Nice cutback by Red Wing Attack to make herself free for that pass. And driving out of the circle, I'd love to see a three-pointer. No, she's keeping it safe, feeding, working it in for herself. And working that circle like a boss. Red goal shoot, putting the ball up and a beautiful goal scored. So when you connect, we're one all. Team Ghana versus Pickett. And a massive bomb, unfortunately not touched. And we play on. Those are the rules of Miso Ball. And a point scored. So that's two points to the Gunners. And the Pickets are looking to level. A nice contest for that ball there. So we're mid-bib placement. We've had a rolling substitution. And another beautiful goal. Red goal shoot on fire today. It's a goal keep blue looking for a big bomb. Who's under it? And we've had an obstruction called, I think. Some rolling subs again. No, there's been an error on that throw in. Just recovering the ball and making some sneaky substitutions while the ball's not in play. A wise strategy for rolling subs. So we're back at the sideline. And a contact called on blue goal keep. So we'll take a shot there. Yes, she is. Beautiful technique. And what a goal. This girl, she's someone to watch out for. Beautiful goal, red goal shoot. And we're looking for a big bomb. Now, I really appreciate the confidence of blue goal keep. She's looking deep. It'd be nice to see someone freeing themselves to receive those passes. Oh, and Red Goldie contemplated a reply. She looked to pass a big one. We're in the hands of our Red Goal shoot again and a beautiful goal. So our scoreboard's telling us it's four points to Pickett's versus two points to Garner's. And there we see it again and a beautiful receipt. Third time lucky. What a game. Two passes and we're attempting a shot. Beautiful. And it just a little too hard but we're back in business again with blue goal attack unfortunately no goal scored and some a very assertive uh, rebounding there red goal defense i love it 
And we go for a three-pointer. Will it pay off? Not today. And... Oh, replay ball corner on the outside of that circle. So Ghana's get another chance at shot. They're keeping it safe. They're inside the circle. A one-point attempt and no reward. Oh. Bit of argy -bargy. All within the rules of the game. Actually a little outside. Call for contact there. And we're back in the hands of the pickets. We've got a new goal shooter in there. So um, nice to see them rolling the subs, sharing the love, giving everyone a, a game. And a beautiful goal scored. So we're five points to the pickets versus two points to the Garners. So we've rolled some subs on the sideline there. That was a lovely high feed into the shooter. We're just failing to sink those balls. And so the picket's in position again. And a beautiful intercept by the blue goal attack. And she's going for a three-point shot. I like the courage she's showing. Unfortunately, it wasn't landed. But I'd love to see her have some more attempts. Oh, we're going again. Here we go. Oh, she's playing it cautious. Hoping to make sure of those points. Actually, she's going for the win. She's directing those big shots. No, keeping it safe. And a regaining her own rebound. Ah, oh, unfortunate. And Pickett's in possession again. And there we go, the Ghana team. Oh, and a lovely intercept by Red Centre. And a very hard to see that goal against the Sun. The sun's just dropping down behind the goal on our court this afternoon. It's a beautiful day here in East Auckland, Pakuranga, New Zealand. And a big welcome to you joining us from all around the country, possibly even the world, watching these beautiful girls play netball, playing miso ball today. So close, that ball, it keeps popping out of that circle. We're six points to two, so we've got Ghana's in the lead. Can they add another goal? And they can. That was beautiful shooting technique by Red Goal Shoot. And it's seven points to two. There we see that big feed in again. And an obstruction called. Can she? Oh, lovely. Beautifully read by the Red Goal Attack. One of the difficulties using the bomb approach from the back line is accuracy. And here we see the pickets in position, looking to extend their lead, unfortunately, out the back. And there we see it. Big pass in again. An attempt to carefully place that ball, gone astray. Pickets holding in that circle there. Beautiful hold, beautiful move, and unfortunately, a missed goal. So the Garners. Oh, that, there we go. Lucky passing. Garners, she's holding in the circle. Just a little too much on that pass. Oh, beautiful intercept by the shooter. Good reading. And a missed goal again. So we're 8-2 in favour of Team Red, the pickets. And it's another beautiful intercept by Blue Goal Shoot. Oh, looking for a three-pointer. We got some rim. That was so cool. One of our smallest players on the court right now had a brave attempt at a three-pointer. Almost scored the points. In fact, she's clever. She knows two of those, and they'd be level with the current winners of this game. One minute 40 to play, and there's quite a difference in the scores, and the pickets are attempting another goal. So here go the Garners. Uh, fortunately, the umpires called uh, the pickets' position. A nice little one-foot shot, and fortunately, out the back. Almost... <clears throat> Oh, 
Once has been an umpire's call there. It looks like the pickets are in possession. They're on the edge of the circle. We might see a three-point effort. Ah, oh, there's some some strong calls by our umpire down there. And so we saw the ball change position two times. And we're in the hands of the blue team. There was a lovely drive in by the goal shoot. Took her partner outside the circle and cut back to receive the ball from her partner. And a beautiful goal for a lot of work there. Ah, oh, what happened there? Ah, oh, there we go. So goal scored. It's eight points to three. And the pickets looking to add to their score. So pickets eight points and Ghana's three. And 19 seconds to go. I hate to say it, but I think we know who our winner will be. Team Pickett, they're having a lovely run today. Uh, I'd be interested to see how their tournament standing is. Unfortunately, missed goal there. Two seconds, I think we can celebrate. Congratulations to Team Pickett taking another win on court one. Eight points to three against the Ghanas. Okay, well done, ladies. What a great display of netball. Can I please...